What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Now you you might have heard Monday that Robin Williams, the comedian genius, the man who was behind Mark and Mindy, the man who started in Mark and Mindy, the man who was in Night at the Museum, the man who did comic relief with Whoopi Goldberg and Billy Crystal, which you probably see a picture of them, did it several animation movies. Robots, uh, Happy Feet 1 and 2, appeared on Law and Order SVU, did a Disney movie, Flubber, and did movies with Nathan Nine and John Travolta, Pompa, Death to Smoochie, well actually he did Aladdin too, there was another Disney movie that he did back in the 90s with. Now I'm going to say this, this man was something else too to look up to as a comedian and I remember watching him when I was a kid because I remember back in the day they used to show reruns of Mark and Mindy on Nick at Night and I used to watch it as a kid and, and I heard this morning like I heard earlier it's like he passed away at the age of 63 and I thought oh my god this must be a joke these people must be playing with me about his death it's like you know how it is when people do that on Facebook or social media. Oh, this actor died, this actress died. And you don't know if that's really true or not. About that, and it's sad to see a co comedy genius like him passing away. And it's kind of hurtful to see that this man that you grew up watching is gone. He's battled with drug addiction and alcoholism and depression over the years and I can tell you this people don't know is when you come a comedian when you come a comedian <coughs> that what follows that job is depression and depression will take over when you're not on that stage and people don't know that once you become the comedian people think oh I'm a funny person I get up and crack any jokes and da 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 da, -da I'm a be badass Billy Gump no you're not this is how you know you're gonna be a badass Billy Gump when you've been through what this man through this man has been through comedy depression and every comedian goes through it. even other actors and actresses and singers and rappers and songwriters that go through this especially comedians so much because they feel once they step out on that stage and they crack these jokes and they hear that laugh that they do thinking I'm making these people happy or am I funny enough these are things that go through their mind when they step out there am I funny enough and I'm telling the right jokes am I offending my crowd or am I offending my fans do people like me do people love me do people want me and that's probably what this man was feeling over the years, dude. These people love me for who I am, for being funny. And people don't know that because they don't see what he sees. They didn't see what he see. A star that was so bright that people forgot to turn it over to see how damn it was getting. Because they didn't want to see it. When people look at comedians, they think funny people. Funny, funny, funny. I don't want them to be funny 24 fucking 7. They can't be funny 24 7. You see that on TV. When you see them doing interviews, when they doing TV shows, say, or movies, or hear them on the radio, they're being funny. They're being funny for the people. That's their job. But when they go off the radio or off the TV or off the movies when they don't are not doing nothing and they in their downtime that's when that depression kicks in even when they are on TV or doing movies or cartoons or whatever that depression does kicks on in them when they're being funny and to see this man doing this man for so long battling drug addiction alcoholism and depression at the same time this man was doing it all over the years, man, like he did the show Crazy One, and it canceled last year, and it's like, this man's battling depression, don't you think? Y'all need to think about what would happen if you take him out of the spotlight like that, that he will spiral so quickly. 
and people don't never think about that oh I love Chris Ducky he was funny oh I love Mike Epps you can love them but you don't know them and you don't know how they feel cause once they walk off that stage you don't know what's going through their mind and how they're feeling cause like I said once you become that famous comedian there's something that te- there's strings attached to it. It's called depression. It's because it, it, depression. They when some comedians catch depressions, this is what happens when they get depressed. When they're being funny, they get a drug problem. They get an alcohol problem. They get se- uh, whatever in the problems with se- prostitution. Look what happened to Eddie Murphy. He called or charged for having a transsexual prostitute in his car. Look what happened to Greg Gerardo when he started doing all those fucking Comedy Central roles. He got a... Uh, he had a drug problem. You just don't know what comes... You just don't know what the hell's going on. You just... And it's just sad to see this man go down like this, man. A bright star... Nobody didn't know how to flip the flip his star over and see his, it was dimming. The light was twinkling a little bit. Nobody never seen that. It's how it is, man. I saw him ever since I was Jay High watching watching Papa when I was a kid. The movie Papa, or watching Mark and Mindy seeing the movie Jumanji or. Or Flover, or Death to Smoochie. You sit up here, you watch these movies, and you see how funny this man is. You see how this man is hilarious, and to see that he committed suicide, committed suicide at the age of 63 after doing it for so long, showing the world what he has. I loved him in the Birdcage. He was very funny in the Birdcage. That was the movie I love so much he did was The Birdcage. And when he did Aladdin and Toy, uh, which I did another video on my other channel. And I forgot to mention The Birdcage. That was my other favorite movie. The Birdcage and the movie called Toys. And the fa- my favorite show he did was Mark and Mindy. And he was so great. He was such a great man. And he knew how to bring the funny. He knew how to bring the serious. And what people don't know is when you there's a there's a mask there's two masks that people don't that comes with this there's a mask that everybody knows and I will post it up And it comes with being a comedian or being an actor or a celebrity. And people don't know that it's like it's, it's the comedy and it's the drama and the comedy mask is there. And that's like two masks that these comedians wear every day. Every day, man, when they get up on there and. every day and people don't never see me and and this is what they deal with see these are the comedy and the drama drama masks and they wear these masks every day. Every day for all these years and people don't understand. What's so great about these two masks? What's so great about these two masks is the comedians wear it every day. When they hit their stage, they wear the comedy. When they walk off and they're alone, they're wearing the drama because that depression is kicking their ass. And that's what it is with comedians. They don't know how hard it is to be them. 
bringing joy to the world by being funny. And and I feel bad for Whoopi and Billy Crystal that you see in this this picture right here because both of them knew Robert Williams for so long since the 80s and 90s until today. And they knew this man for a long time when they did comedy relief and they've been his friends they was there with him when he had this problem and they've been there for them till he died and I feel so bad for Robin Williams wife and kids and I feel bad for Whoopi Goldberg and Billy Crystal because they lost a friend I feel bad for Nathan Lane because he acted in the movie uh, Birdcake and this picture right here, this special picture right here, is B Jonathan Withers and Winters, Jonathan Withers, Winters, and Robin Williams. Both of them was in the uh, in the uh, comedy show Mark and Mindy, which Mark played the alien, and Jonathan Withers, Withers played his son that hatched from an egg. God rest their souls. And it's sad that he worked with these people, and then. Buddy uh, what is uh, Bob, and ha Bob Hoskins and Robert Williams did a hook. God rest both of their souls again. And everybody knew he started out on the, an episode of Happy Days, which spun off into Mork and Mindy. And I look at it, so this man brought so much joy to people's lives, and they just people never know how much he was going through. This man went through so much went through so much and did so much for everybody making them laugh feel good about themselves loving his job but that depression really got a hold of him he battled drug addiction alcoholism and depression for years and it finally caught up to him after 63 years being walking being on this earth that depression really caught and I look at him it's like this man showed the world man after 63 years man of of being on this earth, being funny, having drug addiction, having alcohol problems, having depression. He made the world funny. He made the world laugh. He made the world have fun and enjoy life. And that depression took him out. No, you say, depression ain't nothing. He could have got help for that, but you got to remember, he could have got help. He was getting help. But that depression is so bad when a person has it, it can kill you. Even if you get help, it will kill you. It's a disease that you cannot get rid of. It's not, it's not like, oh, you got a cold. You can take some medicine for it and get rid of it. No, it's there for life. Probably seen a bit. How you know Afro? How you know Afro, Jill? I've seen that with my, whole, my own eyes, depression. I'm not... De Depression, being depressed all the time, it happens, man. Even myself, I've had it, and I do have it, because doing these videos over the years, man, I always question myself, am I making my viewers happy? See, it goes with the territory of entertaining people, and that's what Robert Williams had. He was entertaining people, and that depression got the best of him. When you get out there in front of the world and you show them your talents and how good you are at it they never know what goes on behind the scenes I remember there was a comedian I remember as a comedian that they used to did they did a Jim Carrey movie Uh, Jim Carrey did this movie called The Mask. And I remember watching the movie. I remember loving the movie because that was the first Cameron D first movie that Cameron Diaz movie first Cameron first movie that Cameron Diaz did. And I thought it was a great movie. I thought it was funny. I thought it was lovely and it made me laugh. It's about a guy that was at a dead end job and life wasn't fair and he feels like dirt and he's being treated so wrong at his job and the world hates him for it and and 
one thing about it was about this movie was there was a character, the guy that played Jim Carrey's friend on him. That guy he passed away because he had an illness, depression. Plus he was already battling. He found out he he had cancer. And when he found out that he had cancer, he told his girlfriend to go downstairs to fix breakfast, and he committed suicide in his room. He committed suicide in his room. Like I said, comedians that's been out there entertaining the world, they never know what comes with it. What comes with that territory of being a comedian, making people laugh, and showing the world how much talent you have. And, and I can tell you this, that Robin Williams showed the world that he had this talent. He showed the world that he had this talent and the world knew it. And I felt so bad and I felt so terrible to see that this actor that was so great in all these movies and was so wonderful and he did all this and showed that, hey man, nothing can stop him, that he took his own life. And I was so sad when I found out about it that he that he took his own life. And I was like, man, that's the terrible thing to hear, is that he commits suicide and he was battling with it. He was he was battling with that. He was battling with uh, he was battling he was battling the movie. He was battling. His name was Richard Jennings. Richard Jennings was the guy I was the comedian I was talking about. He was sick. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show a picture of him. He he was very funny too. This comedian, Richard Jennings, died a few years ago, died years ago. He passed away because he found out he had cancer. He had cancer and and he was depressed. And nobody and nobody knew how he felt. See, when you become a comedian, you never know when this is going to strike you right then and there. Greg Giraldo died from being depressed. But there's a story I might, I think it's something else, but this is what goes on with comedians. They go through this, but that's how it is, man. But I'm going to say this before I go, man. If you know somebody that's got depression, that's being depressed. Get them help as soon as you find out. Don't sit there and lightly get all oh, they get over it. It's not like that. It's not a common cold. You can't get over it. It's there for life. If you know somebody that's got depression, bipolar disorder, something like that, go get them help quickly. We miss you, Robin Williams, aka Mort. He was a funny man. I just wish people wouldn't have turned the star over just to see how your star was good man now. Rest in peace, man. Much love. Follow me on Twitter at Alpha Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior Two, Silo Junior Three. So follow me on Tumblr and tell me how you feel, what you think. Peace, love. Take care of one another and support each other. Peace out.